What's going on everybody? Ash here bringing you another Game & Watch and uh, today I'm going to be taking Child of Light Ultimate Edition for the Switch for a spin. Um, this is a game that I never got a chance to play back when it was originally released so uh, I definitely jumped at the chance to do this Game & Watch and uh, I'm excited. So uh, yeah, Child of Light is a Ubisoft developed RPG. Oh, here's a little intro for you uh, while I'm kind of talking about the game. Um, yeah, so this is a Ubisoft-developed uh, RPG, turn-based RPG, I believe, with a really unique art style and just gorgeous painterly backgrounds. So, um, yeah, and you, you play as this young princess, um, and that's really about the extent of what I know about it, um, which is why I decided to do this Game & Watch. So I'm going to go ahead and skip out of this intro here. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Let's see here. So this edition contains all the additional content that was released for Child of Light. So yeah, this is Child of Light Ultimate Edition. So that uh, does mean that all the DLC that was previously re uh, released for it comes with this. So it looks like I get an additional mission, Gollum's Plight, uh, new skins for Aurora, the main character, I think, uh, the Oculi pack, an additional skill, and uh, the Stardust's pack. So okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the options, check those out. Um, looks like I've got controls here for Aurora and Igniculus. Um, oh, and two-player. So this game does include two-player support, which is cool. Uh, let's see, skip battle intros, tutorials. Okay, this is all pretty, pretty standard stuff. Uh, let's see... Looks like I can change Aurora's costume. Yeah, that's what I'll. Yeah, that's what the DLC was talking about, the Inked Aurora. But I'll keep it default for this uh, for this one, or for my you know standard playthrough here. Uh, all right, so let's go back and uh, go ahead and jump right into a new game. I can choose between the casual and expert difficulties. Casual is for players who want to focus on story and atmosphere, and expert is for players who seek a challenging experience. Um, I think for this game, I'm going to go casual because this game seems to be all about story and atmosphere. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not necessarily looking for a hardcore gameplay experience or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited to check this out and see what it is all about. Unfortunately, um, as is often the case, I can't really comment on the sound or the voice acting or anything because I am recording this game and watch, and the way I have to record means I can't really listen to the game while I'm recording, unfortunately. was a crown land ruled by a duke. All right, so we're getting an intro here to the game's background. So there's Aurora, our main character. And she was raised by her father alone. All right. His new bride at his side. All right, this is a really cool opening, but at the same time, I feel like I should probably just go ahead and jump right into the gameplay. Oh, well, that's not good. It sounds like Aurora's getting sick. Oh, wow. That's dark. Oh, wow. So she... <laughs> our main character dies right in the opening. But... Interesting, but she awakens in a strange land as well. It's, it's almost like as if we're playing through her dreams or something. Okay. Interesting. All right. Cool. That is not a twist I expected, I have to say. And there she is. It looks like, yeah. So it looks like we're playing through her dreamscape or something. All right, looks like this is the actual start of the game. Yeah, here we go. I think we could be we could be gearing up for another intro here. Let's see. All right, there's our logo. And hopefully the game begins in earnest after this because if not, I'll go ahead and uh skip whatever happens. Okay, I think we're... Yeah, here we go. Chapter 1. The Girl and the Firefly. Alright. Let's check this out here. So I got 14 HP, 6 MP. She's calling out for her father. 
Man, this is kind of dark right off the bat. Wake me from this slumber, but apparently in the real light, in the real world, she's dying or dead. I don't know why I turned around and went left here. I just kind of like to probe the boundaries of games and such. Uh, it's, I'm guessing I don't need to go this way yet. Let's see. Doesn't look like I can do anything to get up there yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and run back this way. It looks like I move a little faster if I keep jumping. Oh, I can go up on tree branches, too. Okay, let's see. All right, nothing up here, though. All right. Let's keep going. I do find it interesting that there is a two-player mode. It's not either like a co-op type thing. Uh, again, I don't really know a whole lot about this game, but I do find that interesting. It's, it's a great fit for the Switch in that case. All right. Looks like I'm going to the old monastery. I do remember hearing that uh, most of the dialogue in this game rhymes, which is kind of a cool twist. Kind of lends it that storybook aspect that it's going for. All right, anything in here? Yeah, there is, but is there anything back over here? Oh, looks like I can go two ways. Interesting. Uh, what's over here? Only little kids easily scare. All right, fair enough. Looks like I can get up there anyway, though. All right. I'll have to come back. God, the, the art, like the backgrounds are beautiful. Like, every, every bit as much as I had heard. And I've heard about this game quite a bit. It's always been on my radar. It just is, you know, a game that I never really got a chance to play for whatever reason. But I'm glad I am now. All right, right to the old monastery. Yeah, so she's rhyming even what she says now. Oh, okay, creepy spider. Oh, what a pretty tree. All right, what's going on here? Man, I feel kind of bad for her. She she really doesn't have a good go of it, does she? She's crying in her dream. She just wants her dad. And she seems to be dying in the real world, so... Oh, here's like a like an actual dialogue scene. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, th this is like rhyming. This is pretty cool. The art is really interesting. This whole art style is just very, yeah, it's it's very unique. <laughs> yeah, this this dialogue is very clever. Okay, cool. Um, for now though, I feel like I should go ahead and oh, I guess I can't skip. Or no, I can. Okay, cool. It's not the kind of thing I would skip under normal circumstances, but uh Oh, here we go. Okay, so I can use, um, I can control this firefly creature by using the right stick. So we'll, we'll see what that does. All right, let's go ahead and jump over this. All right. Um, oh, those are wishes. You got wishes growing out of the ground. All right. Follow the orange one to find more. Okay, well, that seems simple enough. Do I... Okay. Wishes taste delicious. Have a bite. Okay. Sure, apparently wishes taste really good. Alright, so... I'm controlling both Aurora and the Firefly creature. This kind of reminds me of controlling a Luma in Super Mario Galaxy, actually. Except I'm doing it with the right stick as opposed to the uh, Wii Remote. Let's see. But I cannot fly there with thee. All right, let's see. <laughs> Ignite your rear. Whoa, I barely know you. All right, so we have to match the symbols fast. All right.
right, let's see here. Hmm. I'm not quite sure I understand. Let's see. So, yeah, his shining ability is tied to a meter. But, yeah, let, uh... Oh, I have to cast a shadow. Okay. Hmm. Looks like I can go ahead and get these wishes up here. Let's see, what happens if I do that? Hmm. Oh, I see now. There it is. Okay. There we go. So I gotta do that. And I have to move... There we go, yeah. Ah! But I ran out of spirit energy. Alright. There we go. And then one more time. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of an interesting mechanic. You have to, like, guide the firefly in such a way that its shadows appear on the tree back there. That's kind of cool. All right, I'll have to keep that in mind. All right, well, let's check out what's inside this door, then. Let's see here. We've got a cool-looking statue of a woman. Uh, oh, I'm going to re remove the sword. All right, looks like I'm going to maybe get to finally do some fighting pretty soon. Let's see. There it is. Let's see her uh, take this sword out. Nice. <laughs> Ash, it's like so heavy. She just like kind of drops it. Okay, here we go. For <laughs> that thing looks mean. Fortunately, I wield a sword in this dream. I love the rhyming. This is cool. Okay, so finally a fight. Here we go. Let's see how this works. Okay, this reminds me of Grandia. So, that's pretty... Okay, so I have Act, Party, Potions, and Flee. Okay. So even a regular, like, Sword Slash is, is considered, I guess, something of a spell, because it's called... Ca it says Cast Time. I see. Okay, this is essentially like Grandia, where you have, like, the action bar. And, okay. That makes sense. All right. Two damage, not too bad. I am playing on casual, so I'm not too worried about, uh... Let's see, I can defend instantly, I can heal, medium... Okay, looks like my only real option right now is slashing. Alright. Well, that took care of that. And I almost leveled up just from that one fight. Nice. Okay. So, I guess I'll just keep going through this way. By the way, if you're curious, I am playing with the Pro Controller. Um, not that it really matters in this game, I, I kind of feel like. But yeah, I am playing with the Pro Controller for those who are curious. Uh, also for those who are curious, if you like what you're seeing... Oh, I can slow... Let's see. Oh, so I can slow foes down by shining over them. Interesting. And apparently I can also re refill my HP like that? Oh no, by just moving... Okay, interesting. So by moving the Firefly over these colored orbs, I can actually restore both its energy and HP. Okay, cool. So... Looks like I can slow foes down. Yeah, wow, that... That seems way too good. <laughs> so I can slow foes down by shining... Yeah, okay. That seems really, really OP, but I'm sure once you are in, you know, in fights with multiple enemies and such, it's a little different. All right, so I leveled up. Cool. All right, pretty standard level up. Uh... Oh, and I can now... Okay, oh, wow, she has quite the skill tree. Okay, didn't didn't expect to see this many skills. Uh, let's see here. So I've got the all three of these. I can either get Light Ray... A powerful light attack with a 10% chance of killing a targeted dark creature instantly. Uh, Starlight. Cast time is long. Or I can get uh, an MP upgrade. I guess let's go with... Uh, let's go with Starlight. Alright. That's all I can do there. Alright, so I have Starlight now. Uh, here's my main menu. Um, 
Just got my party. Okay. Uh, Oculi. Mount Oculi on equipment to improve character stats. And so these are the Oculi I got uh, just because this is the Ultimate Edition. So I guess this was a DLC thing. Um, let's see. Increase physical damage by 20% when HP. Okay. Sure, let's just add the Tumbled Emerald. Oh, I can... Okay, so I can just increase water damage resistance. Yeah, the Faceted Sapphire. I, you know, I almost don't want to use these, though, because, like... Yeah, I don't want to actually use these, I don't think. Because it makes it too easy. Right? I guess I'll just keep the Faceted Sapphire. Or the, uh... Wait, which one was it? The, uh... Well, let's just keep the Tumbled Amethyst on there. That's fine. I don't want to make it too easy, though. Uh, inventory, I've got some items here. Oh, wow. Permanently increased HP. So this is all DLC stuff. Again, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this right now because I don't want to make the game too easy for me. And this is a Confessions menu. I don't know quite what that is yet. All right. Let's keep on going. But yeah, the game already seems to be somewhat easy, so I'm not trying to make it even easier. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy from behind. Well, I'm trying to, but... Oh, okay. It just let me do a surprise strike from behind. That's really weird. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, let's see here. Act... Starlight. Okay, let's use Starlight and see how that's looking. And let's go ahead and, uh... Okay, there we go. Did nine damage. Is that gonna one-shot it? Yeah. It looks like I'm gonna level up again pretty soon. All right. The, the 2D kind of perspective married with the RPG kind of mechanics somewhat... Well, no, I guess not. I was going to say Odin Sphere, but Odin Sphere is more of an action game, like an action RPG. This is turn-based, so... But I will say the layout of the world kind of reminds me of that. But yeah, obviously the battle systems are completely different. So I can... Oh, there we go. So I just jump over. Okay, so they charge at me, I jump over, and I get a surprise strike. Oh, and here's my first battle with two enemies now. Okay. So, uh, I'll just do the one in back there. Oh, wow. So, I'm, now my sword, my regular sword slashes are strong enough to, uh, one-shot these guys with just one hit now. I don't even have to cast that, uh, spell. Alright, I got two damage there. It was inter Oh, but I got interrupted. Okay. But the defending prevents being interrupted. So, okay. There's definitely some strategy to this. Um, I, I can imagine the strategy comes into play more when you're playing on the hardcore mode. Uh, because so far, this is fairly easy. I got uh, more skill points. Alright, nice. Alright, let's go check out... Uh, I guess I could... Let's see, I can get Light Ray or an MP upgrade. Let's see, what comes after that? Magic upgrade... Strength upgrade. Let's. I'd like to get a strength upgrade, so let's get this MP upgrade, and then I'll get, uh... Huh. It looks like most skills only cost one point, which is interesting. Maybe later on they cost more, but even going all the way up here, it looks like they still cost one point. Okay. So now I have nine MP, because I just got that, uh, unlocked that plus one MP node on the board. Oh yeah, probably not a bad, bad idea to make this guy glow again. Oh, watch out. I think that counts as a surprise strike. I think. Nope, I guess not. Alright, no worries. Let's go ahead and uh, slash. That should take him out. And this is going to hit me no matter what. That's okay, though. Only two damage, and I have 26 HP now, so I don't feel like I'm in any danger of dying or anything. Alright, and that's...
that's that battle. Ooh, almost leveled up again. I do I like the way she raises the sword as though it's too heavy for her, even though she's still giving it a go. It, it just feels like it's as heavy as she is, and she just keeps it feel it like the way she wields it. It feels very weighted, and I think that's cool. All right, we got a magic potion. Let's see. I don't think I can go this way. Nope. Uh, up here? Yeah, here we go. All right. I will say that Aurora moves a little slow. Her movement's just slightly sluggish. And uh, I could do with her moving a little faster. But, uh, you know, that's okay. Um, by the way, if you like what you're seeing, Child of Light Ultimate Edition comes out uh, on Thursday. So in, in uh, from the time of this recording, two days, uh, you can pick this up on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And what's going on over here? Right to the old monastery still. All right, I've already made it to Chapter 2, The Queen of Light. Interesting pacing. It kind of makes me wonder how long the game is. My guess for a game like this would be maybe 15, 20 hours. I don't know if that's really the case, though. Um, but that was a pretty short opening chapter. Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Come on, come on. All right, guess not. I was trying to get a surprise strike, but it didn't happen. But it's not like I really need it anyway, because I'm going to one-shot these guys. There we go. I still can't believe you can do this. Like, you just slow the enemy down in real time like that. That just doesn't seem fair. Uh, I guess I'll just use Starlight. Why not? Just to show it off again. But spells are pretty expensive. I only have 9 MP, and, uh... Oh, well, I leveled up, but I only have 9 MP max. Or at least I did. Let's see. Okay, now I have 10. But either way, skills are, or uh, spells are pretty expensive, it seems. All right, let's see. I can get my strength up, but it, actually, before that, let's check out Light Ray so I can show that off. Oh, oops. I guess I can't do a whole lot over here yet. All right. I'll probably get a better jump or something or some sort of skill that lets me... Oh, do I have a new enemy over here? I was wondering if... I mean, I'm down to fight this spider if it's going to attack me. All right, I guess not. All right. Don't they know rocks planted in the ground will not grow? Oh, going back to what I was saying. So this game comes out on Thursday, so in two days, uh, and it's going to cost $19.99. And you get all the DLC with that once more. So, uh, yeah, if you like what you're seeing, um, you don't have to wait too long to play it. And I got to say, why wouldn't you like what you're seeing? Because look at these graphics, like these visuals. I got an Oculi. But again, I'm not trying to... I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna not use the Oculi right now just because, again, it's already easy enough. I don't think I need to go ahead and make it even easier. But if things get tough down the line, I'll certainly do that. Okay, so I got those. I don't think I can do anything up here. Yeah, I have to follow this ghost. Which is probably the Queen of Light mentioned in the chapter's name. All right, let's keep on going down here. Follow my voice. I do wish I could hear the music and the uh, voice acting, if there is any, because I'm sure it's great. All right, let's see. I'm gonna keep going this way. All right, can't go that way. Just keep on heading to the right. When in doubt, in video games, head right. All right, the door is blocked, but that's where I need to go. Let's see. That is the question. How do we get it unlocked? 
All right, well, it probably involves something with this uh, box, so. Let's see. What does that do? Hmm. All right, let's move the box over to the left. See what's going on over there. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, so it just goes in here. All right, cool. That makes sense. Keep on going. Oh, those are enemies now. Okay. I guess I don't think I even realized that was an enemy until now. All right. Cool. Well, I have a new enemy to fight. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Yeah, I totally did not realize that was an enemy. I don't know how I avoided... Uh... Okay, four damage from that. Not too bad. Uh, let's just do another sword slash and see if that's enough to take it out. Nope, not quite. Oh, am I gonna make it? Not quite. Ghastly Whale. That did me for three damage. Okay. Not too bad. I'm guessing two sword slashes should be enough, right? It still isn't. All right. Just barely, just barely beat her to the uh, red part of the bar. Hopefully that does it. Oh, but I, I also interrupted. Nice. Oh, so I can just keep interrupting if the timing's right. Nice, just like that. Okay, cool. So it's it's kind of like a Grandia-type battle system, except that you can, like, affect the speed of enemies in real time, which is kind of cool. All right, wow, what's all this? Okay. There's a lot going on here. How on earth do we travel up high? I wish you could fly. Me too. That would be nice and easy. Aurora, illuminate the oculi. Okay. Let's see what happens when I do that. Ah, it's like a magic pulley system. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, that worked out. Let's see. So I need to... <laughs> Hopefully not children. Oh, no. What if it's cats? Uh, all right. Let's see. Go back down. Let's keep pushing this box. Is this enough for me to get over there? No. Oh, I just have to push it all the way to the left, huh? Yeah, here we go. By the way, I apologize for any ambient sound you can hear. Uh, if you can hear any, that would be my computer's fan. Uh, my computer's fan likes to go off when I'm recording Game & Watches sometimes, so I apologize for that if you can hear it. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull this switch. Whoa, I almost missed that. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh, nope. Not quite. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, I see now. Okay, so now that the switch is on, it's just going to keep going up and down automatically. I was like, how am I going to get a box over there? But now it makes sense. I just have to wait. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and pull this box over here. And there it is. All right. Let's see how much closer I am to that door that I needed to uh, get to. Anything back over here? Nah. All right. Oh, what's that? Ooh, what does that do? I got. Oh, I got an oculi. Okay, cool. So it is worth exploring uh, and not just going straight where the game wants you to. There are little things to discover, it seems. Oh, wow, that guy just lunged straight at me. I was not expecting that, and I got ambushed. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. Right, so actually, I was about to use magic. Some foes are vulnerable to magic, and I was about to give that a go. So let's see here. 
All right, act. I'm gonna try Light Ray. Let's try that. Come on, Light Ray. Obliterated. Okay, so that helped. So those those ghostly women type things are weak to uh, light. Good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and use Starlight against this guy and see what happens. Fourteen. Oh, I thought that might kill it. Guess not. All right, let's see if I can act before this guy gets to. Yes, canceled. And destroyed. Not only canceled, but defeated as well. Nice. All right. Go ahead and restore my HP here. Oh, looks like I opened the door. Nice. All right. Got to be on my guard here. Maybe I should go ahead and use a potion. There we go, because I only have 20 HP. Let's see here. Looks like I have to wrap around here, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Did you notice that? I like the way her hair, you can see it behind that pillar. It's almost like a scarf. Obviously it's not, but it, but it lo looks like it gives off like this red energy, as, if, as though it's like a scarf. Um, but it's her hair, which is really cool. A spell has been cast. I am imprisoned behind the glass. Okay. Let's see. Should I illuminate? No. What does this do? All right. Oh, it looks like... Hmm... Let's see here. I'm not quite sure what to do here. I know I can tell that the the colors on the wheel match up with those colored lights up at the top, and the purple one's missing. But I don't really know what to do beyond that. Um, hmm... Yeah, let's see here. I don't... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do here. Um, can I... No, I can't grab onto those. Hmm. Oh, right. I gotta do that again. Duh. There we go. I keep forgetting about the... Oh, maybe I have to... Let's see here. All right. There we go. I keep forgetting about the shadow thing. There we go, okay. Now let's try the green one. Or the blue one. All right. Now the green one. All right, will this be enough to do it? We shall find out. I think so. Oh man, who dares challenge the queen of the night? A tiny nothing with locks of red, rude. How dare you? Okay, looks like it's time for my first boss fight. Seems real to me, it sure does, right? Okay. Let's, uh, let's start off with a Light Ray. Actually, no. Let's start off with a Starlight. Let's see how that does. Vulnerable to Light. Okay, nice. Alright, definitely want to slow that guy down. Jeez. Uh, okay, let's see. Don't want to cast Starlight again. Um, let's do... Let's do Light Ray against this guy, see if I can take him out. Although I might get interrupted. 
Maybe not, actually. Alright, let's just cast. They are just, uh, slash. Decapitate? Ouch. Okay, this guy is going to... Okay, so what now, now what I should do is defend, actually. If I defend, then... Okay, then I won't get interrupted like that. Nice. Well, that wasn't very nice. Don't heal. Okay, let's see. Act. Let's go ahead and do... Light Ray again. Or, let's do Light Ray this time. And see if that'll take out the first one. Alright, not quite, but I think it is... Alright, I better heal soon. Yeah, I definitely need to heal. Oh, I can heal... Oh, I didn't realize I could heal like that. Oh. How nice. Alright, I still need to heal more, though. Uh, let's see. Potions. Alright. Uh, I guess I only have one healing tonic. I'm gonna run out of, uh... Ah, I ran out! How do I collect wishes? Oh, over here. Okay, nice. This is such an interesting battle system. Okay. Interesting. And I can just continue to heal like this. Okay, let's do that. And then let's, uh... Let's see. Let's act. And... Slash... There we go. Ah! I got interrupted. Oh no, it's just increase. Okay, they just did the wings of Mercury thing. Alright, there we go. That's what I wanted to happen. Come on! Nice. Alright, let's do medium. Or slash, I should say. Alright, they're gonna do the decapitate attack. I can handle that. Okay, let's go ahead and use Starlight. Nice, 21 damage. Oh no, I'm out again. Are there any more wishes I can collect, or am I out? I think, I think I'm out. Alright, let's, uh... Let's actually use a Magic Potion. And they're gonna speed themselves up again. Alright, thankfully my my wish energy is uh right, they're gonna heal themselves. My wish energy seems to be replenishing on its own though, so that's nice. Uh alright. Let's do light ray. And that should, I think, take care of this. Let's see. Not quite. Okay, not quite. Alright, let's try just a regular slash and see if that does it. There we go! My first boss fight taken care of. Oh, I almost leveled up twice. Not quite, though. I got a magic stardust item. Alright, so the, so the game definitely, like, yeah, it's, it, it's certainly on the easy side, but once you get into a boss fight and enemies start getting a little stronger, you, I can definitely see where the strategy comes in. So, that's cool. All right. So it looks like we freed her from her curse. And what's going to happen now? Once the sun shone upon the land. Oh, we have a cutscene. So maybe it looks like you get maybe some story cutscenes in be it like after certain chapters. I assume this is the end of chapter 2. From the stars in the crescent moon. Yeah, these cutscenes are... I just love the art and, and just the presentation of this whole game. It looks really, really nice. And again, I do love how everything rhymes. That's... You can tell a lot of uh, a lot of effort went into the writing of this game, for sure. 
it from sight. Yeah, so it looks like this is just giving a little bit of story background. The sun, the stars, and a crescent moon, they pilfered from the sky. Although I'm not quite sure how long it is. <laughs> Again, cutscenes aren't usually the best fit for Game & Watches. That might be the end of it, though. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> she wants to wake up, but I don't think that's going to happen. At least not in the way she intends for it to happen. So she says this is not a dream, which, uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, the, the story is definitely interesting. Oh, so, the, okay, I, I had a feeling the Firefly was Igniculus, and so you can have a second player control uh, Igniculus. So, again, kind of almost like Super Mario Galaxy's uh, co-op, I think, where you could have a second player control the Luma Pointer. At least that's, I mean, I haven't played the co-op, but that's what it seems like it would be like. Alright. So I do think this is probably the end of Chapter 2. Oh, do I get like a, an, a, a, a... Is that like an ability? Let's see here. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's making her float. Oh, she has little fairy wings now. How cute. How useful is that? All right, so she has to keep that crown on her head. I love how, use this if you're in trouble. What does it do? Sorry, can't hear you. All right. Got an ordinary flute, and I can press B to fly. How cool. And so Aurora wandered, the twilight forest far from home. Well, this just completely opens up the game, doesn't it? Except for a firefly alone. Anxious for the comforts of family who could not trace her. Huh. Searching for the sun and moon. A father to embrace her. Yeah, this just completely opens and up the game. The How night, cool. And it doesn't look like her flight her is limited by anything. Umbra, the usurper, to snuff out Aurora Spark. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Do I just keep going up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Let's shine my light on that. There we go. I got two Firefly Elixirs. God, the backgrounds in this game are beautiful. All right, chapter three, Into the West. Yeah, just, I love the, it's almost like watercolor, almost. Like, yeah, it's like a watercolor painterly art style. It's really pretty. Yeah, this is a great looking game and one I am looking forward to seeing more of. However, I do believe this is the end of the Game & Watch because I've been going now for about 45 minutes, which is a little long for a Game & Watch. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Child of Light Ultimate Edition on the Switch. Uh, once more, this releases on the Nintendo Switch eShop on Thursday, so two days from now, if you like what you see. And it's uh, $19.99, I believe. So, uh, yeah, that's about all for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, keep it on Game Explained for more on Child of Light, the Nintendo Switch, and all things gaming. Until next time, guys. Bye.